what is going on guys it is Chris here this is going to be the first video of a multiple part series regarding our wolf algo in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a basic setup on how to just prepare your wolf algo as well as uh, just you know the basic setup and which values you should have uh, for your input values on this script so the first thing you want to do once you get it you're gonna to go to invite only scripts and you're gonna see wolf algo here I have it down here in my on my uh, favorites so you're just gonna add wolf algo it's gonna load up and if you want to edit with which I uh, I suggest you do edit this you're gonna just double click on any of the signals or just go up here and you're going to go to settings now after you're in settings you're going to see all these sort of values that you can you can um, edit so for me this is the 100 ma the ma number one is your 100 ma your ma number two is your 200 ma I like to put them to white and blue it's just personal preference so after you've done that, you're gonna go up here. Personally, you can see that these uh, signals are a little bit faded at, off of the just the basic sort of settings you're gonna get on them. I like to go here to my green, put it all the way up, and then we have a little bit more of a darker shaded in green on those. And then my red ones, I like to go with this red 100%. Um, so that's what it's gonna look like right now. So you have your 100 MA and you have your long and short signals. And so then after that, you can go over here to visibility. If you want to change any of these settings, I recommend just keeping them as default. And then for inputs, this is what I've tweaked the most with uh, over the past few days and weeks. This is difficult to sort of tweak with. There's different time frames that work better with all of these, with all these variables. But personally, I would suggest that you guys keep these just like they are. Um, you can feel free to play with them in the future if, if you feel it's necessary to do so to adjust to your trading style. But basically what these are gonna do is kind of change where your alerts are gonna be. Oops, I need to change this one. Where your alerts are gonna be. You can see that they're changing drastically. So the variances are just gonna change where the alerts are kind of taking place and whatnot. So after you've done that, oops, I forgot to save my changes on these ones, did I? Yeah, I did. Let me put this to white real quick. So after you've done that, you're gonna look at, your chart's gonna look like this. You can kind of choose what your white and your blue are gonna, your MAs are going to be in color. But then afterward, you're gonna to go to Hekinashi Candles. So you're gonna find Hekinashi right up here. I have it favorited because it's one of my favorite bar sort of, uh, bars, whatever you wanna call them. But I go to Hekinashi right here. And this is how the algo is gonna work best with, right? The Hekinashi is just amazing. So this is the SPY three minute chart. This is one of my favorite charts to trade the algo with. But that's your basic setup of the um, of the algo. And then I will say a few indicators that I like to use on the side with the algo are these ones right here. So I personally like to go with the BT cloud. You can just search it up, BT cloud. It's gonna give me a bit of a trend sort of reversal. On the higher time frames, it works very well. You can see like on the hourly and through here, it's gonna see where these pops are sort of long lived or long lived pops like this or short lived pops like this. And then it's gonna give you your overall trend this is basically filling in from the 21 MA all the way down to just your bars. So you're gonna see in the one minute here. This is actually the 21 MA on the outside. Let me go to it. 21 MA is right there. So it's just the fill between the 21 and through here, but it's very easy to kind of identify where those uh, trend reversals are taking place on the higher time frames. actually. Then after that, I personally like to use my 90 MA as always. The Hekinashi is not gonna react as well on the 90 MA simply because it's just completely different the way the candles are moving. But I have usually a regular candle uh, set up on my left side of my screen and then uh, Hekinashi with the algo on the right side of my screen. And then after that, you should add your VWAP if necessary, just so you can see off the algo. You don't want to be taking a signal that's telling you to buy right underneath VWAP. You want to see if it's going to confirm and break above. And then you can add your volume and whatnot. So here's our volume down here. And then with that, I also like to use the sound wave and if you don't have the if you can't find this one on trading view which a lot of people can't if you want the link to that i will put that in the description likely and then i also like to use the ttm squeeze which is this one right in here any squeeze is fine all of them but i mean we're going to explain this in a future video now in the, in the next video after this but we're going to go over confirmation how do you know when to get into some of these trades oops this is the one minute chart but how to get into some of these trades how to confirm your trades and whatnot so we will go over that shortly but that's it for the setup i hope hopefully that helped i wouldn't i would say do not tweak with these a ton if you want to remember what they look like off the bat if you don't know how to re-add the indicator after you added it make sure you understand how to do that but 
if you don't know how to do that, just take a screenshot here. So um, when you first get the algo, just here, remember the values and whatnot, so you can put it to default afterward. But you can tweak with that and whatnot. I will go to the next video now, so I'll see you guys then.